Today, we're going to be looking at using the eighth notes we've recently learned about and use them to play around the drums. We'll especially be making use of the snare drum, high tom, middle tom, and low tom for our studies, along with the counting system we've now developed for eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... The exercises in this video are designed to help you move around the drums and to develop some facility in getting around from one drum to another with a minimum of effort. We need to be able to do this, for example, when we play drum fills. A typical use of a drum fill is to play something in time around the drums at a certain point in the music to help the transition from one section of a song to another. Let's say when going from a verse section to a chorus or from a chorus section to a guitar solo. We can use these drum fills to help us create tension and release in the music or to embellish or even reinforce a part being played by the other musicians. Okay, let's get started. Here's the first exercise using single strokes around the drums. It's one bar of eighth notes on each of the drums, round in a circle. Try to keep both sticks at the same height and aim for the center of the drums to get a nice open sound. Notice on the notation, the snare is on the second space down on the stave. High tom is in the top space, middle tom is on the second line down, and low tom is on the third space down. If you can, memorize these positions. Exercise 1. One, two, three. Four. Repeat this exercise many times and then try it again, but this time use double strokes. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Exercise two. One, two, three, four. Now let's play an exercise with quicker movements between the drums. Here in exercise 3, we've got just half a bar on each drum. Let's play this two times with single strokes and then two times with double strokes. Exercise 3. One, two, three. Four.
The next exercise incorporates even quicker movement between the drums, with just two eighth notes on each drum before moving to the next drum. Again, we'll do this exercise two times with single strokes and two times with double strokes. Exercise 4. One, two, three, four. It's good to practice other movements around the drums. Here's one with single strokes that just uses snare, high tom, snare, low tom. Exercise 5. One, two, three, four. Here's another using double strokes while moving the right hand around the toms but keeping your left hand on the snare. Exercise 6 1, 2, 3, 4 This next exercise involves playing two drums together at exactly the same time. We call this playing in unison. Be sure to keep both hands playing at the exact same time and only play this exercise slowly at first. Again, we'll keep the left hand on the snare drum and halfway through the exercise, we'll move the right hand from the high tom to the low tom. Don't forget to keep counting 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. Exercise 7 1, 2, 3, 4. Practice all of these exercises many, many times to help you achieve good, consistent motion around the drums and try to keep both sticks playing at the same volume and stick height. The idea is to eventually incorporate these drum fill ideas within a musical context. So here are a couple of song type exercises where we try to go from playing an eighth note rock beat for three bars to play a one bar drum fill and then repeat the whole four bars again. Practice these slowly and count like mad. Exercise 8 
One, two, three, four. Exercise nine. One, two, three, four. Exercise 10. One, two, three, four. Exercise 11. One, two, three, four. These type of exercises are crucial for playing pop or rock music. Practice them often and for long periods of time. Good luck and bye for now.